Alright, so this is still day four, but this is just some like bonus footage of us like driving out, you know? Because we kind of got a little bit lost on our way back to the airport in Reno. Uh, we had a little bit of an adventure doing that because my mom was going to try and like find a gas station and like some to eat. But like for some reason they got some against gas stations in fucking Nevada. I don't know what the deal is. I had a little bit of a misadventure there and here's the footage. Okay, so tell us what's happened so far. Okay, we wanted to gas up. We wanted to get something to eat outside the airport so we weren't paying airport prices. We gotta gas up the car before we can turn it into the car rental place. So we thought, okay, when we get near the turnoff for the airport, we'll get off the freeway and we'll find some place for gas. Well, no, we're in Sparks, frickin' Nevada. <laughs> People apparently spend great sums of money repairing their cars because there's a car repair place on every corner. But not actually putting gas in it, so I guess they never actually get them <laughs> running. Therefore, would, they don't Wouldn't it be funny if the reason there's so many repair stores is because they don't understand the concept of gas, so they just <laughs> keep wondering why their car won't run? <laughs> that would be sad. Okay, so carry on. We start wandering. We, we eventually make it back into Reno, and I'm thinking, okay, Reno, back when I was here in the 1980s, was this quaint, quiet little town with a little river and a little bridge, a little sign that says "Biggest Little City in the World." You can walk down the street at night, and it's a nice place. It's a pit. <laughs> is basically it. It looks like it, it looks like sparks really look interesting. <laughs> So then it was just, okay, we're going to the airport where things are safe and sane if overpriced. <laughs> and it's taking us 10 minutes because apparently everybody who, fit, who is smart enough to figure out the cars don't run because they need gas in them, put gas in their cars, got on this particular stretch of freeway and said, fuck it, we're going to LA. <laughs> and here we are. Literally, Reno looked like the city and cars before it got it all repaired. It looked like Radiator Springs, yes, before the big transition when everything was just dead and nobody gave it crap. <laughs> and I think that sums up that particular corner of Reno and Nevada. That <laughs> I'm not going to speak to all of Reno. You may actually be a nice place, but the corner we were at, yeah, no. Look at how flat it all is. Oh, I'm to go all the way. We don't want you to see how flat it all is. I don't know how to read. <laughs> 